Hi, I'm Matt Murray, former Wolves goalkeeper. I'm at the Sir Jack Hayward training ground today for the Silver Bug Challenge. Four sets of roommates are going to pit their wits against each other at various challenges involving skill, technique and intelligence. The lads are talking themselves up, so I'm going to go and find out if they're ready. First we've got the silver bug juggling challenge. The roommates will have to keep the ball up between themselves from the halfway line. When they reach the D at the edge of the 18 yard box, they've got to try and hit one of the silver bug signs in the goal to get a point. If the ball is dropped at any moment on the way, then that, that chance is gone. And obviously if they just miss the target, then nothing counts. But uh, the boys seem well up for it. No player can take any more than three touches each time. It's gonna be difficult. Get schools out here. Have a go at this. Have a go then, boys. Yeah. 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 Okay. It's gone. Keeping it up. Oh wow. Watch that ball, guys. You can give them a bit of banter, boys. You can heckle them a little. Oh, yeah. Shoot. Oh. Shoot. Oh. Shoot. Man up. Now, if Alfie wasn't a footballer, <laughs> what do you think you'd go on to be? What do you think you would have been and why? And you, got, you, can, don't, you know, don't be uh, too well, kind with this one. I shy, but <laughs> probably the way he makes me a cup of tea on a away trip, I'd probably say he worked maybe in a little cafe or something. Maybe a Starbucks, <laughs> maybe a Starbucks, something like that. So, so, yeah, that, yeah, that, yeah, that. Yeah. Hey, that's what I'm doing afterwards. <laughs> so we've seen already he wears the trousers in this yeah, sort of roomy yeah. relationship. So basically, he likes to think that's happening, but that doesn't happen so, in the room. So basically, you get in, put your feet up, he makes you a cup of tea, does he, he run knows. your back as well? Do you think that happens in the room? One sugar. He knows what happens in the room. So, he wants to give it big licks in front of the cameras. <laughs> okay, so if there's a single bed and a double bed, who gets it? He's on nah, the floor. It's experience. <laughs> experience. 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 He has it. Yeah, he has it. He has it, yeah. If Benick wasn't a footballer, what do you think he would be and why? Mm. I think Benick would be in the music industry. In the music industry? Okay. Doing uh, what? In what line? Yeah, what? As a producer. Producer? Yeah. yeah. You know, I don't know think, my music. I don't think he could sing, but he has very great taste in music, and I just mm. think he'd be the one behind decks yeah, telling so people what to do. Roommate Scotty G has come up a lot in other people's answers, but um, if he wasn't a footballer, what do you think he would be and why? 
stylist or, yeah. de or designer, definitely. Yeah, yeah I've seen him with uh, gear that's out there. Um, out there, elaborate so, a little bit. Yeah, on. sometimes I think it's most mostly in a good way. I think he's got a good dress sense, but definitely, I definitely go with um, designer or speaker. He's got a good voice. He's, he's very intelligent. Um, of all the lads, I was surprised the most before I came here. Obviously, I've seen him in the past. I've played against him, and I, w I was surprised with how intelligent he really is. If Rajiv wasn't a footballer, what do you think he would be, and why? Is she? I don't know. Uh, he's, he's a proper footballer with skills. Yeah. Um, I don't yeah. know. Probably um, futsal. Yeah. So he'd still be because, still because some form of skilled, it. Yeah. What? 100% golfer. Golfer? Yeah, this guy likes golf more than football. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. He's good. You, you got a bit in the lock. What do you play off? Well, here we go. There's a lot of debate about this. <laughs> no, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, but to, last time I played, I got 37 points off 11, so. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. It's 10 over. I'll take that. So I'm in between 11 and 14. But there's a video of me on the golf day that doesn't do that justice at all. No. I was really bad, only because the camera was there. Okay, so, couldn't I'm handle off, the pressure. Yeah, no. Nah, I'm off 11, between 11 and 14. And what do you think Jed would be if he was? Uh, I think he'd be a bit like Mo Farah. He's a good, good runner. <laughs> He's a really good runner. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got a physique for it as well. He's a strong runner, so, you know, I think he'd be brilliant at it. <laughs> it's easy. Right. Um, out of all the players in the squad. Which player in this squad would you not want to go into a 50 50 with? Connor Cody could run a track with you. That's just not brought up. Oh, I'm going to tell you, you said that. He's got his feet cropping up. You're, you're stirring the pot. I'm not putting a grenade in there.